Hello, today I'm going to be making a quick tutorial on how to set up the limelight in under five minutes. Uh, don't worry about anything on this part of the screen. This is just to help me see my recording and make sure it's going good so far. Uh, in the description, we actually have a link for it. Uh, I'm basically just going to be copying exactly what we do, but for, for those uh, visual learners out there, it might actually be a little bit easier just to uh, follow this video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the limelight setup that should be included in the description below we're going to click downloads and then over here we're going to have everything we need to uh, get this thing up and running the first thing we're going to download is the USB flash drivers and then we're going to run it Okay, now the install is completed, we're going to click next and finish this up. So now that we downloaded the uh, USB drivers, we're going to go straight into downloading the flash tool. And then we're going to run it once it's downloaded. Okay, so now that the uh, the flash tool is downloaded, we see that there's uh, two main things that we have to uh, find. First, we have to find the image and then the target we're going to flash. So for the image, we go back to the downloads page and it, we're just going to download the most recent one. This is the link that's going to be right under change log. And then we're going to wait for this to download. Okay, so now once that's downloaded, we have uh, we have the image. So going back over here, we have the image. Now we just need a target. So in order to detect the target, you're gonna have to take the uh, the US cable that they attached with the uh, limelight. It's important that you use this one because I think this is a higher quality one than most other cables. And then we're gonna take the limelight, and over here on the top, there should be a micro USB slot. So we're just going to connect this to the computer. So now we're going to select the image that we just downloaded, which for me is going to be in the downloads file right here. And then we're going to select the target. So after you plug in the limelight, you're going to have to wait a few, uh, a few seconds for it to uh, completely initialize. Okay, so over here we have a about 16 gigabyte compute module for that has a Raspberry Pi logo. It automatically selects it since it's the only one and then we're going to press continue. And now all we have to do is click flash. So 
so the image actually takes a while. It's going to take a few minutes here, actually. So. And I'm just going to time lapse do it here. To connect the uh, limelight to our robot, we're going to need two main connections. So um, the, the previous yellow cable I showed you has uh, two things. It's the Ethernet side, which is going to connect to your router, and the power side, which is going to connect directly to your PDP. So, there, uh, so if you look on your router, there should be two Ethernet ports. One should be connected to your RoboRio. We're going to take the other port and connect it to an Ethernet cable. And then I'm going to run this along this side. So that's the first cable we need to attach. The second cable we need to attach is the power. So now for the second half, we're going to connect the power. Well, I'm going to connect this to the, P, the side of the, the PDP, but it's actually recommended that you connect it to uh, one, of these, connect, one of these up top. But it's a little bit inaccessible right now. So I'm going to connect it here. You can barely smell it. Yeah, it's all right. OK. So now we have the power connected on the first side. And now we're going to take the Ethernet connector and then plug it into this side. So now it's fully connected to the robot. We're going to connect it to the limelight now. And in order to test if you did this right, uh, you turn your robot on, and then the Ethernet cables on the bottom should light up. And then if we give it a few seconds, uh, just I'm going to point it away from my eyes here. Yeah, time up. The LED, the LED lights should flash, and then stay on and then these LEDs on top. That means that you've done it correctly. And now we're going to move on to connecting it network. So now that we know that our limelight is connected to the robot properly and we have flashed the firmware correctly, uh, which is indicated by the green LED lights flashing, we're going to go to the beginning to network page. So make sure Bonjour downloaded. So we're gonna go to the downloads link and then over here they conveniently put uh, Bonjour for Stable Networking on Windows. Uh, I already downloaded this uh, and if you're going to download it you're going to have to uh, reset your computer and once you can check if you have it by going to add or remove programs and then Bonjour will be there if you did everything right. Uh, I think this is especially important on older versions of Windows, like uh, Windows 7 and Windows XP. So now that we have Bonjour downloaded, we're going to connect to the limelight, which you should have done already, as shown in the clip before. And then we're going to go to the limelight finder application. So once again, we're going to click the download link. And then we're going to go to the limelight finder tool. Okay, I'm going to run the limelight finder. Okay, so uh, this is, so we're going to have to run it anyway here. Okay, now once we can confirm it's successfully installed, we're going to have to disconnect from the internet and connect to our uh, respective robot network, which since our team is 7237 and we have our radio configured, I'm going to connect to 7237. Uh, I think you can connect by the printer cable or by ethernet, but th the setup we're doing right now, where we have both ethernet cables occupied, uh, we're just going to connect by Wi-Fi, which is the easiest thing for us. So once it's connected, I'm going to click Find Limelights. And luckily, I actually detected it. So 
I'm gonna click this one, and then it should automatically take us to a web page, or not a web page, or the IP address, so that we can connect directly to the camera and see a little bit of its out output. Okay, so now that we are in the IP address opener for the limelight, we just have to change a few basic features. So this is all stuff that you can, uh, that, that's gonna be a little bit later on, I think, for actual use. But what we're supposed to do in setup here is I just change this basic information. So our team number is 7237. Um, I'm gonna keep that the same. And they actually recommend you use a static IP address. Uh, this is in order for it to boot up faster. So it should actually already automatically put the IP address you're supposed to put. But the recommended IP address is 10.te.am.11. And this will already be put, but the, the small little trick here is that TE is actually the first two numbers of your team, uh, your team number, and AM is the last two numbers, so 7237. So it's gonna be, for the net mask, we're gonna keep that the same. And then the gateway is gonna be automatic, but the same thing here is if it's not automatic, you're gonna put your first two numbers here. And the last two numbers there, which I'm just gonna put because it was already there, it's most likely going to already be there for you too. So now, uh, that's the full setup. We're going to click change team number and then change IP settings. And now I'm going to go restart the robot. Then we're going to have to wait a few seconds while the robot reboots. Uh -huh. oh, I'm just about to wrap this up. We're going to start coding this thing soon. Okay, so now that the thing has rebooted, we're going to reconnect to the robot Wi-Fi. And then we're going to go back to the Limelight Finder tool. We're going to click Find Limelights.
Okay, so now that we connected to our robot network and the whole thing has rebooted, we're going to click Find Limelights. Okay, so once we reopen Limelight Finder, we're going to find uh, all the things that we just changed. So the IP address went through correctly, the team number went through correctly. However, we still don't have a static IP.